inevitably the CEO stays longer than the board. So the CEO starts managing the board. Mm. That's a huge problem. You should quit the minute you start thinking like that. You've got to respect the board. They're running it. You give them honest opinions. But what you can't go to them is with fait accompli decisions. And people write board papers mm. with a recommendation. Mm. Well, that's hardly fair to the board most of the time because they can either say, yep, I'll give you a tick, or no, I'm going to turn that down. Um, what do you do? So you've got to think better. You've got to get the board involved in strategic decisions much earlier. Yours to execute, but theirs to decide on. You've got to think back six months and actually go to them with a series of levels. Because they iterative and let them give you a steer as you go. You've got to slow the ship down and let the board participate. Because they're pretty wise, most of them. You've got to use them and let them make those decisions, which you can't do if you decide that it's a May meeting so they're going to approve my $40 million new package. You've got to be talking to them before then. One of the things that we, we look for is re really clear um, sort of accountability arrangements. So the board is very clear about what their role is and management are very clear about what their role is their role is. Um, and you can see that coming through in terms of the interaction with Komu as, as a monitoring or appointments arm. You can see that in terms of the interaction with ministers, um, which I think is all you know, a really, really important part of that. I think in addition to the accountability, it's being really clear about what are the objectives as well. And so um, you get good alignment around those sorts of things, which is all also important from you know, responsible ministers, shareholding ministers want to be want to have clarity around those sorts of things as well. Looking at the major proposals and providing that extra assurance really that something can proceed. Yeah. If you do it really well, a board gives the agency some headroom to be a little more innovative and test the boundaries a bit more than might be possible in a government environment? I think because we are seen as independent voices, yeah. each with yeah. different backgrounds, representing not only a geographical spread but a range of uh, skill sets yeah. and also with some commercial credibility. Yeah. Um, I think that we've helped the senior leadership team feel like their views and opinions are being tested.